I was a mermaid. I still have this dress. Mm -hmm. And then I had a tentacle coming out of my eye. <laughs> like, <laughs> So I started drag about, um, I want to say like in 2013. My friend um, asked me if I wanted to do drag, because um, he used to do it actually. And I didn't, I didn't want to at first, it was a lot of, because it's a lot of work. Um, but I tried on Halloween one day, and <laughs> I had so much fun, I just kept doing it. Um, it wasn't really one decisive mo moment, it was more like, I try it, and then I liked it, and so I kept doing it. And then this is just one of the outfits, but this one's a fun one that I wore the other night. It's the um, marijuana leaf one. <laughs> it was really bad, and I wore bright red lipstick, and I drew my brown like brown eye eyebrows like really big. <laughs> it was really bad. But um, so I just kept watching videos on YouTube though, um, you know, just makeup tutorials that I would just come across and practice. And I would do it three times, four times a week, and then. Now it's just, I get better. Every time I do it though, it's a learning process. So I'm doing something different and I'm always getting better at it. To do women's makeup, it's um, a lot more subtle. Drag queen makeup, you need to have it like bigger and more accentuated. Drag for me is about entertainment, entertaining. And if I'm not entertaining the audience, then I'm not doing my job. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> okay. Every ever every time you put the wig on until you take the wig off, that's your performance. So my performance will technically lasts from 10 p.m. until 2 a.m. What is the matter with you? I'm wearing barber push pearls. If I try to lick my fingers. And so. Whether it's five minutes on stage performing or the four hours that's off stage or making people laugh, like that's my performance. When I first started drag, I thought I was fierce and I wanted the attention. So that my main goal of doing drag was it was a selfish reason, like doing it for me, 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 me. And I didn't get anywhere. And my attitude was horrible. Um, I treated people like you know. Now. Um, older drag queens like taught me and I learned and as time passed by I realized like drag is it's not about it's not supposed to be about me I'm like a tool that the that the night the LGBT club um, and community can use to like shape and mold and whether it's by being funny and entertaining and hosting You just ignore the comments people say. Some, like, actually on Friday, someone said, like, they say it in a subtle way, like, oh, what's up, dude? Like that. Trying to, they're trying to point out that, like, they can tell that you're, like, a man. And it's like, well, 
it's because they're ignorant and they don't know that I'm purposely doing this to because I'm a man and I'm you know it's being funny, but it's being transphobic at the same time. It's very offensive. So I don't know. That's I don't like that stuff. So, but people say it because they're ignorant and they're dumb and. There's gonna be people like that all around. Or I laugh at them, with them, at me. <laughs> you know, because that's the best way. Then they feel stupid. It's like, when they say, oh, like, oh, what's up, dude? It's like, then I'll go, yo, what's up? <laughs> and then come back. Go drink and come back, okay? But no, well deserved. But drag was before, a lot, a long time before RuPaul's Drag Race. And it was more about being yourself and being able to express that in our community while also helping others. Like the first stone that was thrown at Stonewall was by a black trans uh, person. And the riots also with drag queens. And they were the first ones that stood up and revolted.